A few days ago, one of the political parties in the country announced its decision to adopt direct primary elections rather than run with the traditional delegate system that has characterized the Nigerian electoral process over the years. The decision seemed to be dominating discussions on different political platforms in the country, prompting some Nigerians to wonder what the term direct primaries really means. The decision by the All Progressives Congress, the ruling party, that's the APC, to adopt direct primaries in Oshun State to elect the party's candidate in the uh, governorship election has touched on the famed unity of the party with high-profile members of the APC openly taking positions for and against the decision of the party leadership. In its defense, one of the chieftains of the party says the decision to adopt direct primaries was aimed at giving all card carry members of the party a voice in deciding who emerges the standard bearer. Now, what is direct primaries? What are its implications, especially for our democratic experience? These and other issues we shall try to provide answers to on the program Nigeria Today. I am Shebun Ojelade. I'm being joined on the program to discuss direct party primaries by Dr. George Monkalu. He is a politician of the APC stock and in fact he is the national auditor of the party. I welcome you to the program. Thank Dr. you Mongali. very much, Shedra. Thank yeah. you so very much. I also have with me a regular face on the program, Mr. Jidi Ujo, a public affairs commentator. I welcome you to the program. Thanks for having me. Good evening, Nigerians. Mm. I, I think I will start with you, uh, Oju. Um Direct primaries. What does it actually mean? Before we go to the, <laughs> the APC, yes. Uh, what 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 does it mean, and what's the difference between direct and indirect primaries? Short in a yeah. nutshell. Sure. Um, direct primaries is um, primaries that are conducted by all it, that involves all members of the party within that constituency it's like a general elections we are all uh, voters with permanent voters card goes to the polling unit to cast their ballot in support of any of the candidates, candidates. for direct primaries is an intra-party affair mm is the nomination process of a political party. And the section of the law that backs this up is section 87 of the Electoral Act 2010, as amended, which actually gave that option of direct and indirect primaries to political parties and stating the procedures and processes that needed to be followed if you are adopting direct primaries and if you are adopting delegates, so it system. is the indirect primaries that we've been using before. over the years because it's more convenient. It's just like a conclave. Uh, apologies to those who are uh, yes. Catholics, you know, conclave of pontiffs, you know, that sits as to appoint a pope. The same thing is with delegate system. Some chieftains uh, are appointed to now elect they are appointed to elect the, the candidate. candidate of the party however that delegate system has been subjected to a lot of abuses because it involves very few people we will go into that yeah. in the course of the program now we have known what direct and indirect primary means over the years we've been using indirect primaries why did the APC, why is the APC now toying with or playing with or has adopted direct primaries? What are the issues that brought that about? First of all, let me try to correct one impression. The delegates that 
are involved in the indirect primaries are not appointed yes but elected elected because you elect delegates who now elect, elect the candidates, the candidates mm. depending on the election because yes. for example in my party when you talk about indirect primaries the those who play for example in the last two elections a number of where I participated those who played that role were the officers of the party at ward level level and then some statutory members like House of Assembly members, National Assembly that, members. That's why I said they are, not, they are appointed because there are even no. the, there are those who are called super delegates. No, 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 who who are have, not even see, in my party elected. Uh, 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 hello, hello, gentlemen. Uh, that's why I said our focus my, on this program yes. is direct primary. Yes, no, that's what I'm saying. I, it's I, all right, then, yes. I, I tried to correct yes. that it's because all, yes. they are elected. Having said that, in our constitution, we had the two options. Okay. Uh, whether direct or indirect, indirect. is there. So uh, the party uh, leadership, in its wisdom, having been using the indirect primaries over the years, decided to to now try out the issue of um, direct primaries. Uh, not everybody accepted it mm. because it, with the issues that there are challenges that come with it, just like the indirect too. But at the end of the day, the majority felt that um, there's nothing wrong in are trying that so that we can now learn a few things from it. If there are mistakes, you correct them so that we can now perfect a system. Because you can't talk about a system you have not tried. Mm. You have not you can't talk about a system you have not properly experimented. So that at the end of the day you now have a choice to now say this is what we have done, this is what we've done in the past, this is what we're doing now. So at the end of the day you make up your mind on what to do. So when he considered it at the, at the uh, leadership level, there's a working committee, and then came up with a proposal of um, hey, doing the direct I, this time around. I'm mm -hmm. still for soon for yes, sure. I'm time. still asking. Yeah. What are the the cons that you see in direct primaries that made the neck to adopt it? What are the good sides of it? What are those things that you want to correct in nominating your candidates? for elections that you feel we couldn't get it there under indirect, we can get it under but direct. It's not about making any correction now, but yeah. it's about trying a system. Okay. Uh, but for like, uh, I, I said some time back when I had the privilege of being here, but the indirect and direct have their own uh, advantages and their own challenges. Mm. Uh, but for the, for the direct primaries, the key advantage there is that it's all involving. Yes. It's involving every member of the party, card carrying member at all level within that constituency like Dr. Gide rightly said. Yes. Within but that constituency. So it is all involving. But he also has his own challenges. It, well, I, uh, from, from what I gather from some of the things that has been said on this table, it's like the holy poly, the, the, the masses, we like that kind of a thing. But those that are kingmakers may not like it. How do you hope to deal with that? You're, you're pretty much in the realm of speculation. Okay. Now, because uh, some people may like indirect, some people may like direct. Like I said earlier, the direct has its own advantages, has its own demerits. So also the direct it has its own merits and also its uh, demerits. But you may have a point here by saying that more of the people yes. who may want to like direct because, simply put, it's involving them. It's involving more people. Like uh, you right, uh, did you rightly observe, we elect some people, yes. it says two stage thing, get them elected for them now to elect the candidate. Yes. But in this instance, now it's no more a two-way two thing, a two stage thing. It is now at the beginning. Yes. Everybody comes out with his card, depending on uh, the, the formula, it could be option A4, or it could be uh, open, secret, open secret, whatever. But now it is going to involve every card carrying up to date member of the party, party within that constituency. Okay, now, um, uh, Gide Ojo, let's look at those who may likely not like the idea of, because uh, if it works out with the APC, it can, like, just like he said, it can be a new thing that can revolutionize our, our politics. 
but from your own experience of politics in Nigeria, who are those that are likely to say no way? Well, the delegate system is open to abuse in the sense that they are few in number and they can be easily induced. Um, let me cast your mind back to what happened in the APC, in the uh, APC primary in Ikiti State, where there were allegations that one of the aspirants actually induced delegates and cut out them in some three places and you know, pledged them some sums of money. At the end of the day, one of them, and I will be specific here, uh, Engineer Shegmoni, uh, in the states, uh, until we adopt direct primaries, this issue will not be killed because it's very easy if you have to deal with. Um, let's assume that there are 1,000 delegates. Uh, you can pledge to give each of them 250,000, 300,000. But if there are 50,000 members, I'm not sure you anybody will have that kind of watches to give round. And of course, while you are doing it, you'll be exposed because people won't keep their mouth shut. But with delegate system, you can go to where they are lodged or your agents can go there and say, oh, God said I should come and say, this is for your cola, this is your cola. By the time you are opening the envelope, you are seeing half a million, you are seeing one million there. Because if the currency is very easy to carry. But with direct primaries, how will you even reach out to all the departments? And for me, it's the added advantage, apart from reducing corruption or propensity for corruption, is that it will also encourage those who claim to be members of the party to even identify with the party and to be involved. You know, it becomes an inclusive process. People will go and cherish their party membership card. Unlike the delegate system, if you are not a delegate, you don't bother. You don't even bother to pay your dues. So if it becomes a criterion that for you to participate in direct primaries, you must show evidence of being an active member of the, the party, party, that you are financially committed. Yes, Those who are genuinely committed in the party will make sure that they pay their party dues as I went you. Not that so with the delegate system, you know what top things are. When the election, when primaries are coming, somebody, the rich aspirant, will just pay backlog for those who are likely to emerge as delegates. Okay. So they are not even committed, that being an issue, but they found them convenient yes. and useful towards the nomination. Election. Okay, Let, let's talk about the logistics. Uh, how, you know, if everybody, you know, all the 10 words in the local government, you know, I mean, all the 10 words, all the all the, uh, the local units. Government, polling unions, local government areas, they, they are going to vote. The logistics. Uh, has the party thought about that? Yes, you see, like I said, it, it, for, for either of the two, you have challenges. Mm. For either of the two, you have challenges. For the direct primary, the point you raise is very fundamental because the logistic implication is quite high compared to the indirect uh, system. You are not only talking about... Uh, 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 transport, you are talking about security, you are talking about getting the electoral uh, uh, committee members for each ward, because you must set up electoral committees to go directly to the wards, assuming there are 300 wards or 200 wards, at least three or five persons has to go there. And you have to interchange them from local government to local government so that they don't get involved where they, they are from, because they all certainly will have influence to exact. Yes. So certainly the direct primary, just like the indirect, has its own challenges. And one of these challenges is the issue of logistics. Hmm. So there, there, there's, there's a logistic uh, problem. Uh, there. Now, uh, that brings me to my name. Is it a done deal or the party is still discussing? Because uh, we are thought that the Oshun primaries were, for which it was uh, announced that it's going to be used was put off. Uh, does it have anything to do with direct primaries? Is it a done deal or that, that is uh, going to be wider consultation because, before it becomes the policy of the party? No, no, no. As it is now, as it is now, the, 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 the issue of Oshun is concluded. As to whether we're using direct primary in Oshun no, is, a, is a closed shop because the NWC has met over it, taken a decision, approved of it, and then a committee to handle the primary election are all in uh, Oshun State today. Mm -hmm. So the shift in the 24-hour shift 
It's simply logistic. It may be a logistic issue. Just 24 hour shift. Probably maybe to allow the committees, the local committees that will be sent to the various wards to be at the point of where they are going to, to work, to conduct the elections. That may be the reason. Uh, it may be transport, it may be certainly, but nothing to do with whether the party is still going to meet again to talk about uh, the, 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 the process, the election, whether it's going to be direct or indirect, as far as social state is concerned. Okay. But it is taken that social state primaries is going to be conducted by direct primaries. Okay, uh, gentlemen, uh, before we came to the studio, our, our crew went out to take the views of Nigerians on direct primaries. Uh, let's see whether Nigerians actually understand what it means and uh, their general feelings about it. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Direct primaries is uh, when all card carrying members will come out and vote for their candidate to contest under their platform. And uh, it's such a nice it's such a nice move because uh, unlike when they are using delegates, now all card carry members will have a say. They will vote the person they want. And I also urge other parties to emulate this uh, new development that the APC government has brought in now. I believe mostly in that because and there's so much um, compromise when delegates are elected to go and choose the right people. And because they can go and compromise because those who want to get those positions can, can incite them by money or anything. Then they sow their conscience and they do the wrong thing. The person that should, should not be voted, they vote because the person bought their conscience. Yes, I think it's a good one because based on the the use of delegates and all that thing, it has been, it has, it creates room for, sometimes the internal democracy we talk, votes can be bought, individuals that, that go there, at the end of the day, they can be easily manipulated, but direct primaries, when, it's just like a gathering of everybody, it, it's, I think it will define our democracy and it also help to elect people who are credible. I'm impressed by the level of political awareness among uh, Nigerians, especially those spoken to in that clip. Nigeria Today continues. I still have my two guests in the house. Now, uh, this, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier that there are some big wigs within the party, those who call the shots. Let me just say governors, for instance. But it is not whittle their, down the influence of the governors on who becomes what in the parties of course there are there are there, um, there is that likelihood that you know um, the locus of power is diluted in the sense that everybody is having a say so uh, those who see themselves i don't even think it's the governors per se but those who constitute uh, who, who saw themselves as king makers it may be the governor, it may be party chieftain, it may be even the delegates we are talking about because the delegate system, whether we like to admit or not, is, is, is corruption reading and it's uh, open to huge level of inducement. And manipulation. Uh, manipulation. So, and when you go through the time pass in this fourth republic, how people just get nominated without even the so-called delegates doing what is needful. Uh, you just get people and say, we are doing consensus. If, if you go through direct primaries, everybody must agree for you to say that you are doing consensus. Unless you have already agreed that this person is coming unopposed. Okay. In which case, there is no need to vote. Yes. But what I believe is the major advantage of direct primary is the sense of belonging it gives to every member, member of, the, of party. the party and dilution of those power uh, power centers mm. those who believe and arrogate themselves the omnipotent power yeah. over what the else? rest of okay. the party members now um it's still quite fresh in our memories how the 
uh, congresses of, of, of the party APC went in various states. Uh, we still remember what happened at Ward, uh, local government, and even state congresses of the party, where we have uh, dissenting voices, I won't call, call them crisis. But now that we now say, okay, let us now throw it open, let people go to the various wards again and, and, and elect uh, a, a candidate, are we not uh, biting more than we can chew or trying to stir the hornet's nest again? Certainly there will be challenges. There's no doubt about it because uh, APC, like every other political party, is a human organization. And in any human organization, you have interests that is varied. Some people, their reason for joining politics is to seek for electoral power. Some maybe want to support. So certainly there may be, there will be challenges. So, it, but the one that separates Mr. A from Mr. B or Party A from Party B is how do you manage these challenges? How do you manage the ambitions that will clash? Because certainly there will be a clash. So, when these challenges come up, you address them. And that's why I said earlier that both the indirect and both the direct, each of them have its own strong merits. Yes. Like uh, Gide rightly said mm. about all inclusiveness, involving many more people, uh, reducing the power or the influence party leaders may exact within a specific uh, constituency. But at the same time also, it has also its challenges. Like you raised a very fundamental point, and that has to do with logistics. Mm. The planning, the organization, and getting the expected result at the end of the day, because you're dealing with a human organization. People's interests will clash. Mm. There are challenges that you have to meet. So in as much as you, 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 you want to get everybody involved, you also have to expect that these challenges will come. Uh, because the human organization, our issues, our views will clash and we we'll disagree. But the important thing here is that we disagree to agree. Yes. Because if you disagree, not agree, then you don't even want the survival of the party. So what, what, what is uh, the National Executive Council of the party? Uh, what are you asking from other members uh, to fine-tune the system or to uh, assuage freed names or people that are still not... Uh, uh, captured or those who are not on board with this arrangement. What are the? No, it is not about it's, it's not about individual views or persons. The point is that the party has taken a decision because some people were elected into responsible position of authority to take decision on behalf of the generality of the people because we were elected. So the decision has been taken by the by the majority in the working committee, saying that we are going to do direct primaries in Ocean State, simply start. And we're going to do direct primaries. Oh. We'll the challenges as they come, we confront them, we address them. And at the end of the day, you have to reconcile people. Okay. Because so it's only one person that will win the primary. Yes. That will take place tomorrow. It's only one person. And as a, as a last count, 17 people bought from. Yes. So there's no way 17 of them will win. One person will win, 16, 16 persons will lose. So it is our duty also to encourage such, such persons, yes. talk with them, so it, let them see it, the bigger it, picture. It, it, it may not... It may not it may not exceed Oshun if uh, the it may not. It, it depends on the reality on ground. And one thing about us, I will say, is that there is no one drug to cure all sicknesses. Okay. Uh, we are looking at individual states, look at their peculiarities, even like the issues you raise, disagreements in the various states. There are some states that have no disagreement. There are some that have disagreements. It's about looking at the issues on ground, addressing them, and seeing how you can resolve them to the extent that everybody will feel part of the process. Okay. I have just less than one minute. Uh, if you had to advise the APC, and indeed all political parties, on these direct, indirect primaries, what would you say in less than one minute? I will encourage them to adopt direct primaries. That way they will appreciate the enormity of challenges that I next face <laughs> in conducting <laughs> elections. You know, it's very easy to point fingers yes. and say, oh, they are not doing well. This, <laughs> let's see whether they have credible voters register or membership. <laughs> let's see whether there will be no issue with uh, swapping of, uh, you know, proxy voting. Or, or let's see or whether there will of, be uh, nasty or ballot. <laughs> so when, when they have a feel of what... because. In all sincerity, Oga, uh, people don't, when, when you are not on the driver's seat, you yes. don't appreciate the enormity of the, of the challenges. challenges that the election management body does. So I commend APC, the and I will, I, will, I will encourage them not to, 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 not to stop it with Oshun. Yes. They should learn from Oshun, whatever may be the shortcoming, and, and build stronger 
you know, uh, process Time for other states. Time it should be something that the uh, other Jide, parties will Jide, copy let's, let's, from let's the wish, APC. Let's wish the APC the very best in this very laudable step I that wish, has been I wish taken. That's what I've yeah. expressed. I'm and pray that, that, I, I'm I pray pray that it, succeeds. Uh, it succeeds yes. and that other parties will uh, also take a cue yes. from what APC is doing. Yes. Because it's all about inclusiveness. Yes. Yes. It's all about I, inclusiveness. I must thank you, Jide, uh, and then stop you before you extend the duration of this <laughs> program again. <laughs> so it's thank you very much, uh, for uh, Jide Ojo, for coming on the program. And uh, I, I must equally thank you. Uh, you know, we wish you the very best of luck and pray that everything turns out fine with direct primaries in, uh, in uh, Oshun State. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mogalu, thank for you, all Chairman. that you've said thank you, on Chairman. the program. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. This is where we call it a date. On the program, Nigeria Today, we shall be back tomorrow for the last edition this week. I am Shebu. Bye-bye.